Naruto Tubu Vortex Chapter 4 has officially been released on November 20th. This chapter has been the subject of much anticipation with fans counting down the days for nearly a month. So what are the things that happened in the latest chapter that made the fans so hyped about it? In the aftermath of the events from the previous chapter, we find Ko deep in thought contemplating Boruto's mysterious comments about the Tentails turning against him. But he quickly brushes off Boruto's words questioning how the Tentails can pose a threat when its sole instinct is to consume. Afterwards, Boruto engages in a conversation with the Toad while being approached by Kawaki. Despite Kawaki's presence, Boruto remains unfazed and employs the flying Ryzen to, to teleport to Code's location. I mean, he used Tobirama Senju's iconic technique upon arriving. Boruto was taken back to discover the Tentails has vanished. This unexpected turn of events even leaves Code surprised. Boruto and Code are suddenly met by an odd-looking man bearing resemblance to Bug. Where they see this figure, Boruto laments his tardiness and discloses to Code that the entity before them is a divine tree. Suddenly, the creature attacks Boruto, asking him if he came here to get devoured. And then floating in the sky is another ten-tailed creature that resembles Jigen. It reveals the mystery of the situation. It shares the sole instinct of the divine tree to drain the chakra from all living beings and produce a chakra fruit. We then know that the divine tree had evolved due to Code somehow triggering their self-awareness. And after that, another divine tree appears before Code and Boruto, suggesting that it was Code's destiny to be manipulated as a clown by others. Then Boruto's toad devises an immediate retreat as the fourth divine tree appears, this one bearing a striking resemblance to Sasuke. And meanwhile, in the Hokage's office, Kawaki is trying to persuade Shikamaru that Boruto's life should be ended due to his Otsutsuki lineage. Sutter interjects and points out that Kawaki too shares the same lineage. Kawaki retorts that his existence as an Otsutsuki is solely to eliminate others of his kind. The fourth divine tree launches an attack on Boruto, Borko seeking assistance from Code, who chooses to escape instead. Borto also makes a hasty exit from the battleground. The next scene reveals Borto in conversation with Kashin Koji beneath the tree, and Kashin Koji is telling him he shouldn't act with such reckless behavior. And in the last panel, an unexpected turn of events happens. Sasuke's been transformed into a tree, leaving him helpless. The final scene of chapter 4 left us with a focus on Sasuke Uchiha's transformation into a tree. So we can conclude that chapter 5 will pick up from this point, revealing the events that occurred during the time skip through a flashback. There's also a possibility that the chapter will highlight what happened between Boruto, Sasuke, and Code. The chapter may also delve into the unexpected alliance between Boruto and Code, or maybe Kosh and Koji will start to come in. Borto's just full of surprises, so who knows what could possibly happen next. So that's it for our chapter 4 review of Borto 2 Blue Vortex. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and click that notification bell for more videos like this one.